Hey everyone, welcome back. We have another sunny South Florida luxury home tour. We're actually here in Lighthouse Point taking a look at Venetian Isles, which is a waterfront community just across the street from the open ocean. And we're gonna be taking a look at this home dubbed the Golden Palace. It's got seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, over 12,000 square feet. This home was actually inspired by the Hermitage Museum of St. Petersburg. In every room you'll see it has stained glass, imported marble, chandeliers with Swarovski crystals, and there's gold leaf in every room of the house. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason Matuk, and this is what I do. I take you around, I show you the nicest houses in all of South Florida, and this just happens to be one of them. So why don't you follow me up this driveway and just look at the curb appeal of the house while you're following me. It just, you feel, it almost feels like you're walking up into a castle, but we're on the water in sunny South Florida. It's, it's pretty crazy to wrap your head around. You can see you have your two garage entrances. You have one on that side, one on this side over here. The pillars, these lines when you walk up, it's just super grand. And one word you're gonna hear me say a lot throughout this house is the word gold hand cut and marble because everything that you're seeing is hand cut marble the walls the floors everything is just imported unique and customized this is not your cookie cutter home this is something that you haven't seen before so why don't you follow me now inside and as i said you're going to hear the word gold a lot gold everywhere look at all this take a look i'm going to take my shoes off and Two steps in, the detail on the floor, on the wall, as I said, you see all this gold finishing. It's just amazing, honestly. And on this side, you have like a left cutout and you can see into the formal dining room. So let me come down these steps real quick. I think we'll talk about the formal dining when we talk about the kitchen, but let's just talk about what's right in front of me, this living room. And this is kind of like the middle walk-in formal living room. You do have a proper living room on that side. So when you walk into here, you have your fireplace. And why don't you just quickly pan up over there and show them that chandelier hanging from above. It's honestly like walking into a museum. This is a living room in, in a home, but if you didn't tell me otherwise, I would have thought we were in a museum. And then off of this living room, you can see the fireplace kind of connects to the other side, come through these doors, the finish on the doors, the handles, everything is just customized and it takes you into a quieter living room. And this one actually has a TV for you. So you can use that one to sit down, have some quiet drinks. So you come in here and watch a game, you know? Another chandelier, just like a mini version of the one we saw over there. Gold and crystals and the finish on the ceiling. You have Venetian plaster on the ceilings. For you musicians out there, you got a nice piano sitting right here with a crazy view of your pool and the water outside. So much space out there, I'm excited. But follow me in to here, to the other side of the double doors, it takes us back into the former living room. So if you look all around, it just has those amazing finishes. It's leaving me speechless. And off of the formal living room, you have your bar over here. You got some bar stool seatings up at the top. This amazing finish on the countertop. And you have your kind of like bar sink looking into the TV room. And right behind me on this side, you actually have a wine cellar. It's temperature controlled, you got the cedar smell, all your favorite bottles stacked up on the wall. And look at this, you even have stained glass in here. So it's just, it, it gives you that real feel. Oh, it's freezing here. It gives you that real feel of like being in a wine cellar, which I really like. And the door even has the wrought iron on it. So it just brings the whole vibe together. And as we come a little bit further down over here, this is like a smaller breakfast room, another chandelier. Let's do like a chandelier count. It's like chandeliers every five seconds, chandelier right over here. And then it takes us into the TV room on this side. The cool thing is the bar that we had over there, it had bar stool seatings on one side. You also have it on this side. So you can actually fit a good amount of people just on this one section alone. And it takes us into the TV room. TV room, very comfortable, got a lot of space, huge TV necessary and then another chandelier and look at above the chandelier all this handcrafted design at the top it's honestly beautiful and then you have the surround sound speakers around so watching a good movie you're just entertaining with a bunch of guests the music's gonna be bumping it's gonna be bumping pretty good 
And then as we wrap around to this side, more bar stool seatings for the kitchen. And it's gonna start us off on our appliances. So here we have your Wolf coffee maker and Wolf microwave oven. And as we come a little bit further down, you have another oven right over here. This is actually like a warming tray sort of thing, but you can still cook in it or keep the food just warm while it's in there. And then over here on this wall, you have all your fridge and freezers. This is your freezer on this side and then your dual Sub-Zero fridge on this side. We come a little bit further down, we have your Wolf oven and another Wolf oven. This is a steam oven, so you can steam food in here as well as cook. And then we have the two Wolf ovens down there and they're separated, so if you wanna put meat in this one and fish in this one, you can do that. And just look at the little details. Like the sink has the gold finish, a gold finish chandelier as well up here. Back to the oven. Above the oven, the hood has another amazing gold finish at the top, hidden for the vent. And tons of counter space. Also, let's get a close up on the finish on the counter. This marble, it's, I mean, I've, I, you see these kind of finishes all day long, and I've never seen one with this specific design. It has these little like fossils in it everywhere, just something super special. It's, it's very nice to see a unique property after seeing so many. This one is definitely gonna leave an impact on me. And as we cut through the kitchen, coming this way, you have like a, I would say like a butler's prep kitchen side, or maybe just an extra bar space. You have a little fridge down there, another sink, and this actually leads to the pantry. So if you need extra pantry space to store food, you can do that right over here. Come back in, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> it's making me hungry. And then as we make a right out of this, down here we have the laundry room. We don't need to see the laundry room. We're focusing on the house, but I'll show you the garage right behind me. You have the garage over here. You can probably fit two cars, but one car definitely is spacious in here and uh, all your electronics and panels and everything on this side. And this is separated from the other garage we had on the other side. So you do get more than just this to park. Even as we're coming down, the light fixtures above when I'm walking down is it is one after another, just more beautiful than the last. Here we have a half bathroom on this side. And then like I said, when we got to this point, we were to talk about it over here, we have your formal dining room. You know, host a very royal eight person dinner with another chandelier above and look at the stained glass kind of finish at the top over there. It's it just, I, you're just walking around in a museum. We're gonna follow me down to the other side of the property. It's gonna take us towards the second story, but we still have a few things to see. In here, you're gonna have your office. This is a private office with another chandelier above over there. And if you follow me down further, this is gonna lead you to your garage over there. And there's a bedroom on this side, down here, just another guest bedroom. And as you make a turn over here, this is the stairs we're gonna take it to the second floor. We're gonna save that for a second and we're gonna come into this guest bedroom. All the gold finishes on the wall. Look at the paint on the walls over here. It's just something unique and different that you don't ever see in any home. And you have a nice spacious bedroom, closet on that side, and then you have your ensuite on this side. It could also double as a cabana bath for the people outside of the pool area. But now that I showed you all the living space on the first floor, why don't I take you out there to show you the pool area? It's actually pretty amazing. Follow me outside. As you step on out, the first thing that you notice is the color of the pool. It's so blue. It's like, it's honestly like looking at the ocean and all of the space that you have out here. I mean, just off of the door, you can put a couple seats, a bunch of loungers, or maybe a dining table. And it'd be a good idea because you have your summer's kitchen right there, having the outdoor dining in front of it, or maybe just like a table with bar stool seating, whatever the case is, you can't miss. This is 
exceptional. And as we walk a little bit further down out this way, you're on the water over here with ocean access. And then standing on this side, looking back, the house is, like I said, in the front, it's like a castle. It's, the curb appeal of this house is something that you can't describe. It's, it's just something unique, super unique, honestly. And then when we walk back towards the pool over here, you can see the size of those windows and the pillars, and then this huge pool. It's like kind of rimless. The water flows on the edge right over here. And then it has the deep end with a little kitty shallow end over here. All in front where the main living room was, you know, you have room for an outdoor dining, more seating. And as I come a little bit further down over here, a jacuzzi. So if you want to hang out the shallow end, swim some laps on this end, or just hang out in the jacuzzi, you absolutely can. But this is better than like a hotel pool. This pool is really nicely done. And that color, I'm stealing that color. I want that in my pool at my home. And on top of having all this outdoor entertaining space, you have a pretty good amount of yard space over here. So if you have any pets or animals, you can easily, they'll be happy. You know, they'll be happy pup. And as we come down further down here, you'll see it leads us down a little bit. You got your dock in front, the same finish on the floor throughout the entire property continues out here. And then you have your boat park up dock on this side with ocean access. And you can get directly out there and have some fun. Looking back, I'm in love. And uh, I think it's time that you follow me back inside so I can show you the second floor of this amazing home. Let's go, I'll see you inside. So we just crossed back over from the living room. This is where the garage was. I didn't mention this, but this is where your elevator is. Even the elevator door has this custom finish on the outside and it takes you right to the stairwell. And it's a nice curved design. Look at the design, hand stained glass windows, correlating light fixtures that matches this monster of a chandelier at the top. And yeah, this, this chandelier, I mean, once I get to the top, you'll see it's pretty much bigger than I am. Just hanging up right here. And even the little roses going around, it's so detailed. And on my right, you're gonna see some bedrooms. On my right, we have bedroom number one. And it has a balcony overlooking the water. And it's the same from my left. You have another bedroom with its own ensuite and it's got amazing views. And right before we continue down this hall, on my right, we have this door that opens up. And what do you know? That's another staircase. Why don't you follow me up there? Ah. Did legs yesterday? I'm ruined. All right. As we come up, on my left, well, actually, on my right, you have access to the attic. But on my left, you kind of have like a band room almost. So you'll see in here, and this could be anything you want, you know? It's a work in progress, but this could be a game room, man cave, man basement, man attic, I don't know. The, what is the, what's the lady shed, a she shed? It could be anything, it could be anything you want here. It's got its own access to the attic as well over there. But follow me to the best part of this third story. You got your own balcony up here. Look at this. This is the highest you can get overlooking this beautiful day. This day is money. You can see the water. I can see the ocean. I can see the actual ocean. I can smell it. It's unbelievable. It's just, it's just a magnificent day. It's beautiful. Let's head back down so I can continue on with the rest of the second floor. Follow me. Back on track, are we? Let's go. As we make a right, you're gonna have your half bathroom behind me on this side and then it's gonna take us into another bedroom. Let me walk into this one. So I wanna show you the space that you get. This room has all this space in front of it. And now you have more of a traditional wood design on the floor, even its own balcony behind me over here. This balcony looks over the front of the property and you also have balconies facing the water on that side. Let's take a look at the ensuite really quick. Just over here. 
you have this dark finish going into the shower too and it's got a nice window so I can see this beautiful blue sky day today. I'm very blessed to have it. And out of this room, I believe there is a room right in front of this one. So out of here, now that I think about it, actually, I believe this is storage. Yeah, this is a storage room. So up here, you only have the bedroom, the ensuite, and the half bathroom, and the upstairs laundry room. Coming down this hall. And this is a really cool part because when you come to the center, you can see a lot of things. You can see this huge chandelier on my right. This was the entrance chandelier that you saw. Even the design around it is just impeccable. And this huge floor to ceiling like window over here, you can see into the front of the house. And on this side, you can look over into the formal living room and you have the chandelier in the center over there and you can see the water in your pool. And then as we come a little bit further down, here on the right, we have like a kid's playroom set up, but it's actually a bedroom with its own ensuite. And then finally, hold on. We have the master suite, why don't you come inside? And we'll start over in the bathroom, follow me. As we come further down her closet and you have the clothing section on this side. And just so you could separate them for even more organization, on my right, you have the shoe version of the closet. So you keep everything sorted. You pick the outfit and then you get the shoes on. Exactly. And you follow me down. Wait. Every time I see double doors, I'm gonna do that. You come on in. And this is your bathroom suite. You have another chandelier. This is about the 18th chandelier that we've seen so far and it leads you straight into your soak-in tub. The fixtures are gold and they have stained glass around it, all around it, stained glass. And then on my left, you have one sink and a walk-in shower. And then on the other side, you have another sink and another shower. It's pretty perfect. And you also have the two separated toilets on each side, so you don't have to even bother with each other. You just do your own thing and everyone's happy. And then if you follow me back down here, we saw her closets. On my right now, we have his closet. And then on the opposite side of the closet, you actually have a space that you could use for a massage room or like a, you know, a sweet gym or whatever the case is, but you have the space on my right as well. And then now, it's gonna take us into the bedroom. So as you come in, this is where it all goes down. The king of the castle, the queen of the castle. I say that every video, but literally, this is where you, this is where the magic happens. MTV Cribs. You got another chandelier. We're on like chandelier 80 now. And it's got another crazy feature at the top. I love how you're surrounded by windows. You can overlook the water. A boat just passed by. Now the waves, the, the waves are all rippling. And you have this bar, wet bar style over here with a fridge tons of extra storage. You got your huge TV on the wall, fireplace underneath, and then your beautiful, I just wanna jump over this and land in the bed, this beautiful spread here to just rest at night, retire, and start the next day fresh and awake. The floor as well, this, this wood design on the floor is something crazy, I love it. It's, it's unique, but it just feels good on the feet, you know? Just, and then over here, Funny enough, this actually is like a perch so you can look over into the formal living room if you want to wake up and just yell at the kids or if you just wake up and see the Christmas tree in the morning. You know, there's a couple things you can do with this. Get a nice, get a nice view of the chandelier. But this is the, this is the appeal, the, the real appeal of this bedroom is this balcony. This is, this is what you're doing. I mean, look, look at this. You open your door and you see a bunch of family. You, look, a family just having fun. Look, just jet skiing pulling the kids, I mean, that's beautiful. It's like a postcard. You come outside every day to postcards. I mean, how nice is that? You get so much space out here, but honestly, I think a spot like this, this is where we should end the video. It doesn't get much better than this. So on that note, if this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about the property, maybe you wanna know more specifics about it, it'll all be in the description below. And if you'd like to see it in person, that information will be down there too, but you have to be qualified. We're not just letting anybody in this house. And um, I hope you have a good day, and I hope your day looks like my day.
and you're not somewhere cold and you're somewhere warm because it's a beautiful day. All right, Alex and I are to get some food and enjoy this sunny day and you have a good day.